Hey everyone, what up? Luke here from White Tech Review, here with a review of Grappler, so let's get started. Okay, just before we start, I want to say sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I've had a lot of schoolwork and I've been sick, so I haven't had a chance to make one, but I'm back now. So let's start with a little overview and background of the app. So this app is called Grappler, and basically what it does is it allows you to download different forms of media off the internet, whether it be a video, music, anything like that. Um, Grappler is made by a company called The Little App Factory, and of course the links will all be in the description. And The Little App Factory makes about a half dozen apps, and they all work really well, and they're all really simple to use. And they make other things that I've used, like a software called iRip, which can rip DVDs, and other things like that. So to move into the application, we'll go over the user interface really fast. As you can see, you have a nice big bar in the middle. And this consists of these two back and forward arrows, a home button, a rather large search slash address bar, which I'll get to in a moment, a toggle, which can be very handy at times. It has a toggle for automatic, which allows you to download the original format, whether it be video, audio, other things like that, or just audio, which can be very useful if it's something where you only want to listen to it. Like if you want to listen to something while you're in the car or something and it's on your iPod, you can just listen to the audio only. And then there's a clear button to clear everything out. Okay, so basically the search bar is where you'll do most of the stuff you do in Grappler. Say you want a video or you have a address of a video you want to find. What you do is you type something in. Let's say Julie Cloud, which is a great operating system. And it'll just load up some of the videos that people have made on it. Um, and it gives you a really nice way to browse through them. As you can see, you have a little icon representing the video and a preview button. The name of the video, um, with some descriptions, and the link to the video, as well as a download button. This is a really nice piece of software because it even lets you preview it. If I just hit the preview, I can preview this video once it loads up. Just like this. And as you can see, this was a video from Revision 3 on it. Um, and it's just a really simple way to find things. But say you're on the internet and you go, Oh, I like a video from this YouTube channel. You can just copy the web address, or even if you know it, you can type it in. And just input it right into the uh, search bar. And it brings up the whole website. So... This is the big upper part, is the main part you'll use when you're using this app. And below we have this empty tray. And in this tray below, this is where all your downloads go. So you can see what you've downloaded or what you're downloading, and it's really simple. For something like this Revision 3 episode that I might want, I can click download. And you can see it'll start downloading in a moment. Or if I'm back at that website I had, and say I'm looking at this video on the Mac App Store, and I decide I want it, I can just click on the video, and as well as it starts playing, it'll also start downloading as you can see down here. And the downloads are put out really nicely. You can see there's a little X to cancel the downloads, if you want to just cancel it, as well as a big little progress part at the bottom which allows you to see how much is downloaded and these usually are pretty fast but of course it depends on your internet speeds and basically this has a very simple user interface that I love and it's just very easy to use there aren't too many extra features other than what I've shown you because it's very simple but it just does what it's supposed to so as I said, you can download um, an automatic or just sound version. And it's very nice that you can download from sites like YouTube. Um, in most video sites, it'll search. As well as being able to enter your own web address. 
and it's just very fast and easy to use. And although you might say, oh, there's free alternatives out there, like there's apps such as the YouTube Downloader Plus, which is free, but this is a hassle-free way to download the videos you want and for someone who downloads a lot of videos like I usually download a ton of YouTube videos sometimes this is a really nice app to have because it's a lot easier than having to use something like the YouTube Downloader Plus even though it does cost money so as I said this is a great little piece of software and it's very simple and easy to use and you can download a free trial or buy for $19.95 at the littleappfactory.com slash grappler. Once again, you can check out this entire review and others at wettechreview.blogspot.com. And if you ever have any suggestions or would like to send us anything to review, please email us at wettechreview at gmail.com. And remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. See you next time.